Hi, I'm, my name is Kevin Harrington. I am the um, a board member of the Texas Association of Freestanding Emergency Centers and president of Altus Emergency Center. And so today I wanted to speak to you about our preparedness for emergency and in, in the, in the aftermath and during uh, Hurricane Harvey. Uh, first, I want to tell you what a freestanding emergency center is. Uh, we are a, an ER just like any hospital ER, except we're independent, we're freestanding away from the hospital. We have emergency physicians who are board trained uh, in emergency care. We have nurses, we have imaging, we have CT tech, laboratory, pharmacy. We're fully capable of handling all types of emergencies. And through one example I want to show you is what we were able to do. So in Lumberton, which is just north of Beaumont, Texas, uh, in Hardin County, uh, we have a freestanding emergency center there. Uh, we implemented our disaster plan and it went very well actually. A uh, decision was made to stay open and serve the community um, and that's what we were there for and that's why we uh, continue to do that. During that time of the flooding, uh, Lumberton became an island. No way to uh, come into Lumberton or Hardin County or exit. At that time, um, the Hardin County Judge uh, Wayne McDaniel asked our healthcare facility, which is the only healthcare facility in Hardin County, uh, to take 911 calls. Typically, those have to be transported um, into the Beaumont area. Uh, so we were happy to do that. We provide those services. And so for five days, we were able to sustain ourselves uh, with our staff who worked multiple days, six to eight days straight, and with the supplies that we had on hand, which is typically we plan for about three days of supply. Uh, with, that with that issue, um, we, were, we did need assistance, and we asked for the uh, STAR to provide uh, some medical supplies, and we were actually denied three times, but we were able to provide that ourselves through some other sources. The types of patients that we were able to see were critical patients. There were traumas, electrocutions, uh, broken bones. We actually had an oxygen-dependent patient on a respirator that had to stay there because emergency centers are required to have generators. We were able to provide um, 11 critical patients, seven patients were life flighted out. And of that time, 49% uh, of the patients that we were uh, seeing were uncompensated care. So we'd like to ask for some recommendations for the FECs uh, for you to consider. One is we're well capable of handling emergencies, it was obvious. Uh, two, if you could help us allow Medicaid to recognize freestanding emergency centers for compensation. Uh, third, if you could help us with the Texas Administrative Code uh, related to freestanding emergency centers, they're quite restrictive. If we're able to loosen up the scope of care, we will be able to provide more services to our communities that we serve. For example, the only CT machine in Hardin County can only be used for emergency patients, not for the outpatient population. And then the fourth is this model is a very good model. If we're recognized by Medicare and Medicaid and our scope is flexible, we could be a good resource for rural Texas and go into rural communities to provide health care. Thank you very much.